Okay, so we've got a new anime controversy on our hands with Funimation um, coming out with a new anime committee, right? And they posted a little blog post kind of explaining the whole process of what an anime committee the is and what they're gonna be doing as a part of it and this kind of scared the fucking shit out of a lot of people like people are over here like they're fucking like holding their teddy bears like going oh shit funimation on some next shit now um which they kind of are um they're going to have a lot more power in deciding how things go with the anime they license in the western world now basically so in the blog post they explain what an anime committee is and if you watch shirobako you sort of kind of already have an idea of what this is it's basically a group of companies that come together to help make a particular entertainment product in this case anime and basically collaborating and putting all their different skills together like you have a voice actor company that provides the voice actors and you know cast them in their roles um you have a music production company that produces the music for a show and then you have the actual anime studio that does the animation and stuff and other you know groups that are in on it right and funimation is in this position of now being directly involved with foreign localization so before they would just gain the rights to a show and you know you know translate it dub it and stuff but now they have more of they have more power now they've already been kind of fucking with shit to begin with you know changing the dialogue in their dub in their dubs um just messing around censoring stuff and to a lot of backlash and a lot of like hate from a lot of people but now they're going to have a lot more official authority to do these kinds of things and that's what people are like freaking out about um i sort of am in this place where i don't have a Funimation subscription and quite frankly I haven't really really liked the company for a while now especially hearing some of the stuff they've been doing like not allowing people to cancel their subscriptions in a while back because they were losing subscriptions so fast um the various voice actor um dub voice actor controversies they've had just a lot of shady shit on the part of Funimation and and personally I don't want to be involved with that but if you are a dub watcher and you need to be aware of this that if you thought they were messing around with anime before um perhaps they're going to like ramp it up uh we don't really know yet because we haven't really seen any big examples in the in the actual um blog post Funimation was on a committee for um Fire Force and Pl and Plunder I believe and Fruit Basket um 2019 but effectively um I haven't really heard any big cases of them doing anything except for maybe um some stuff about Fire Force on um Adult Swim getting sort of mucked around with but other than that that's the case um uh, just wanted to bring this news to you guys and, you know, contribute something to this. So, um, tell me what you think about this whole situation in the comments below. I'll see you later.